Hey guys, today I have a DVD in for data recovery and this one is all scratched up and unreadable. So this DVD looks like it's about under half full. You can see where it's been burnt and all around this area is completely scratched. This is a DVD that's been probably moved around and left sitting on tables and all sorts of things. So DVDs are just a aluminium uh, layer that's sandwiched between two polycarbonate layers. And the layer where the light has to go through is all scratched up. They use a red laser, and effectively they're encoded with mirrors. So the, the uh, red light laser either hits and gets reflected back, and that could be a one I think it is, or it doesn't, it scatters and that's a zero. So here's the problem. Uh, it's so badly scratched up it can't get through they do have ECC so they do have like 10 I think 10 to 20 percent is ECC the DVD can continue to operate with some scratches and and errors with the ECC but this one's just beyond that and it just stops so what I'm gonna do is sand and polish back this polycarbonate layer and I should be able to reread it and get all these memories back for this customer so here's my first cut. It's, I'm going to use 2000 grit wet and dry sandpaper. Then I'm going to move to 3000 and I'll find a polishing compound. So here's a small little piece of 2000 grit. We're going to add water because it's wet and dry. We've got uh, some deep scratches here which may be the only problem with it. So we're going to use a wet and dry. And this is actually going to be counterintuitive because it's actually going to scratch it up even worse. So you'll see as I use the wet and dry, it starts to fog up with more scratches. Visible light is now diffracting all around it. But the goal here is to cut the polycarbonate down where all the deep scratches are. And hopefully it should be just three passes. So we'll keep doing that until it's nice and even. I'm not going to bother going, doing the full DVD, just where the data's written. So it should take a bit, it should take less time if I just stick to the area instead of the full DVD. So there's the 2000 grit wet and dry sandpaper done. You can see that it's consistently cut through most of the big scratches. There might be one, that large one still there. If you can just see up here. It's almost cut through and maybe the 3000 grit will cut through that again. So let's get the 3000 and keep going. So the 3000 grit should be able to cut through. I've got a little piece there and we'll keep going. A little bit of water for our wet and dry. And let's get in with the 3000. Cut it down a bit more. And we'll go all around. So here's a couple of scratches from our 2000 grit. And you can see if we go through with our 3000 grit, it'll cut them out. So there's the 3000 grit done. You can see faintly, it's got rid of most of the scratches. There's one original scratch there. I wonder if that's the one we saw at the start, but it's all cut down, it's cloudy, it won't work. We need to do polishing now, and we should be able to re re read it again. Now to polish this back to a crystal clear, smooth finish that will work, I'm just gonna use automotive polish. So. I was just digging around to see what I got. I don't get a lot of DVDs in, so um, I've found Meguiar's. I've even found version 2 of Meguiar's. But I'm just going to use some good old-fashioned turtle wax. And I have a little polishing, um, I don't know what this is, little drill bit. And we'll just use this on a drill. So here's the drill, here's the polish. Probably a bit too much. And we'll just simply work away. So this is what it looks like with just about a minute, minute and a half of polishing. You can see it's shiny again, but you can still see a lot of micro scratches. I'll put it in the DVD reader and see if it's enough. Let's have a look. So the DVD is detecting, but can we read it? So I'll just copy it. This is what I originally tried to read the first time. Okay, we're getting about two megabytes, three megabytes a second. I think I was able to get some of the video files off this DVD. Okay, it's just stopped again, but maybe ECC can work. So it looks like it is performing better. 
I'll let this run through and see what happens. Otherwise, I've got to keep polishing. So this DVD has been reading consistently around 2 megabytes a second. You can see along this line here. But now it's just hit a scratch again and it's back to zero and it's stuck. So I'm going to do some more polishing. Okay, so a little bit more polishing. 30 seconds. It wasn't much and it's actually reading a lot faster now. 5 megabytes a second. So hopefully it makes it all the way through. Let's wait and find out. If not, I've got a more gentle um, polishing um, device. So we can even go to a finer polishing grit. Let's see how it works. So that's it. We were able to save all the video files off this faulty DVD. So we've only got a couple of video files and we'll just play one back and see if it works. Perfect. So here's what the DVD looks like with that final polish level that I did to be able to get the data back at about 5 megabytes a second. It still looks pretty scratched up under microscope. Uh, it actually looks pretty clean uh, with the naked eye. Looks So if you need any DVD data recovery, I'll leave a link to my website in the description. I've got other tools for different types of problems like index problems. I've got modified drives to be able to bypass the table of contents and firmware. So this is just one problem, a scratch DVD, and I'll see you guys in the next video.